oopsie, my uh, memory card ran out. But anyway, I think I have five minutes cleared, so I'll finish this up. But anyway, what I was saying here is that my new place, I don't have the mess that I had left at my last place because what I did was, and I did mention this in another video too, is I bought this plastic carver runner and put it down. I extended it um, out about a foot or so. It's, it's actually covering this hole, and you can't really see it, you know, but um, covers the carpet. When the ferrets throw food out of the cage, it's so much easier to clean it up. If any stray poops fly, so easy to clean up because this is a rental I'm in and I don't want to trash the place, you know. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> so carpet runner from the gro from the uh, stores like Lowe's. Um, you want to, uh, like I said before, the litter is wood stove pellets that I use and before Penny hops up here and ruins it for me. But you want to get a bin. This did have a locking lid. You don't really need a locking lid for... Uh, wood stove pellets but for food you do but um, I like to I buy the pellets I put them in this bin it makes it so much easier for changing out the litter um, also a good idea to have a litter box cat litter box or two right outside the cage in their room so that way when they're out and about playing they have somewhere to run to um, if you do have cats it also makes it way easier for cleaning the litter boxes because you know I can come into this one room and there's two out of my three litter boxes that I can clean. My other one's in the bathroom. So it makes it so much easier than running around the house trying to clean things. Um, <clears throat> let's see, other things you need. Food. Um, ferrets are obligate carnivores, which means they are meat eaters. They are not rodents. They are not, um, you know, cats. Uh, you know, I'm kind of torn here because uh, cats, some people, yeah, okay, your cat can survive on uh, friskies from the grocery store, but is your cat really healthy? I don't think so. Um, cats are just like ferrets. They are... Um, they're carnivores, and they're both obligate carnivores. And um, so both cats and ferrets should be eating a food that's grain-free and made with meat and really high in protein. Um, the food that I feed my ferrets and the ferrets and the cats, and three of my cats are show cats, and as you can see, most amazing quality coats and perfect weight because uh, they don't have all the fillers of crappy cheap foods. Um, I use Blue Buffalo Wilderness and I buy it at PetSmart because it's way cheaper there. It's also often on sale there. I buy it as for as cheap as $32.99 for the, I think it's a 12 pound bag, I think. 16? 12? I think it's 12. <laughs> anyway, um, and you know, that might sound like a lot of money, but because it's so nutrient dense, the, the ferrets and the cats really don't eat as much of it as if you would eat feed them a cheap crappy food. Um, I remember one time at my old place, I was snowed in, and the only place I could go to get food was a local grocery store, and I went and bought some, I don't know what it was, pro, uh, Purina something or other, and, um, and it was even one of the better varieties of the cheap crap. And I swear to God, like that three pound bag was gone in like two days. So, you know, is it really cheaper to feed crappy food? Not really, because your cats and your ferrets will eat it twice as fast. So, you know, if you really looked at what my food expense is for the year, and especially I buy the big bags, I put it in a locking container and, uh, you know, divide it out among my pets. It's not really that expensive at all. Um, let's see other things you want to get. Um, I don't really put any toys in the cage because toys can be broken and chewed up. Um, and ferrets aren't going to sleep when they're in the cage. They pee, they poop, they sleep, and they eat. That's pretty much it. Um, ferrets are like cats, you know. They like to sleep a good portion of the day. So don't put toys in your cage. I've seen people with, like, hanging toys and, like, toilet paper rolls. And there's so many hazards in those things that it's just like, don't do it. Just don't do it. Um... Anyway, um, I'm trying to think of other stuff you need as far as supplies go. Um, you know, people say uh, brushes and stuff. I've never brushed a fair in the 16 years I've owned them. And I think it's too, I'm feeding them a really high quality diet so they don't shed very much. So I've never seen a mat in my cat ferrets and I've never seen a hairball on my ferrets. Um, one thing ferrets do really like is this product called Ferritone. It's a really good vitamin supplement. Um, <laughs> take my advice, don't taste it. As a new ferret owner, I was like, hmm, they like sweet things. It's got to be sweet and yummy. Well, let's see what's in here. Oh, soybean oil, cod liver oil. It's nasty ass. It's like the shit that they used to give the our gang kids when they, you know, would get sick, whatever. 
but nasty stuff, but ferrets love it. So, you know, you can give them a little bed of that every day or every few days. Um, another treat that my guys like, I'm, I'm very limited on the treats because most of the treats at the pet stores are total crap. So, um, this is really one of the only treats I give them are these end bone chew treats. And right now the ferrets I have, it's so weird. Only one out of three of them will eat them. The other two could care less. Um, Toys. Ferrets love tubes. Um, you can get tubes like this. This was actually left behind in, in an old office I worked at, and it's just a dryer duct tube. Um, you want to make sure if there's any open bare wires in the ends, you put little clips over it. Um, <laughs> that's Percy. Um, this is called a rice box. If you look um, in my other videos, you'll see Percy playing with it with the ferrets with it it's actually um there's a he's sitting over the hole and there's a second hole this tube's coming out but it's just plain white rice um not not instant plain white rice and um all of a sudden i have hiccups um and they tunnel and play in there and they just love it and it actually kind of freshens their coats too it's it's kind of funny they smell like nice fresh white rice um really cheap to do and the cat, ferrets and cats love it um, tubes, you can buy the tubes like this. This is called, hey, perfect ferrets, they're demonstrating for us. Um, this is called the Super Three-Way, I think it is, and you can buy it at Ferret Depot, uh, places like, uh, uh, Dr. Foster Smith. Again, don't buy it at PetSmart. The same thing will probably be 30 bucks at PetSmart and, you know, 15 bucks online. Okay, now we have space cleared on the memory card. I really need to get a bigger one. I keep getting better cameras and then not better memory cards. Hi, Mocha. She says, enough about these stupid ferrets. Um, anyway, so what I was about to tell you about was this was my latest creation that you've probably seen a few videos of. Um, this was another thing you could do for your ferrets. My guys really like it. And look at Angus, such a perfect ferret going in to demonstrate. Tell me these guys shouldn't be on TV. Um, <clears throat> I made them this little ball pit. Um, the balls I found at Target, it was 150 balls for $14.99. Um, <laughs> you can see them go all over the floor now. Oh my god, they killed the cat house. Um, there was way too many of them. Oh, and look who's in there. Um, so some are in there, some are in here. <laughs> I just love how perfect they are at demos demonstrating things for me. Anyway, so um, I ran around, it was like, what, two days before Christmas, and I was, I, all of a sudden, I'm so impulsive about things, I'm like, and then I would get obsessed that I can't find what I want, so I wanted to make this ball pit, nobody had any kind of pop-up tent thing to put the balls in that was, you know, other than some huge thing for kids that was 50 bucks or so, oh my god, <laughs> prepare, prepare yourself for a big mess. Anyway, so uh, I went, I had this weird, like, I remember seeing it at Value Village, the thrift store up the road. I thought it was a hamper, and so I uh, went there and, and found it. And what this is, it's actually meant for keeping butterflies in. Um, it's called the Butterfly Pavilion, and it comes with, like, a certificate to send in and get a or coupon to get butterfly larva. So anyway, I thought at first it might not be tough enough for the ferrets, but it is, they haven't ripped through it at all. And uh, it's got a zippered clear, it's got a clear end on this end, which is really cool for pictures and video. And then it's got this little zippered opening. And uh, yeah, they really like it. So anyway, that's just something you could do for your ferrets. So back to supplies. Um, ferrets do like toys, just like cats do. Um, and just like with the cats, you don't want to leave the toys out. Or like I said, never leave them in the cage. But, you know, get things that you can wave and they can chase. That's always a lot of fun for the ferrets. Um, I, I have a wide assortment of toys because I have show cats. So I'm always at cat shows and finding all these crazy new toys. Um, one thing I do with them, which keeps them from being destroyed by the cats and the ferrets when not, not using them, is I put these flower vases on the wall. Um, this was actually a little bud vase from Ikea, and this was just this uh, copper cone. And uh, it makes the perfect spot to put all the toys in. It looks kind of cool, too. Uh, but it puts them somewhat out of reach, right, Penny? You can still kind of get that mouse. Um, but it's really good exercise for the ferrets to give them stuff that they can chase and it's a lot of fun and it's you should always interact with your don't just let the ferrets out and then go yak on the internet about how cute you how much you love your ferrets i mean sit down on the floor and play with them i mean i try to i do that every day and it's really i work from home so it's a great stress reliever for me to put aside tax returns for a few minutes and just interact with my ferrets and uh 
let him make me laugh and like make me realize life really doesn't suck as bad as I might think it does at the moment. But again, Angus is the perfect little ferret to demonstrate on how uh, <coughs> on how he interacts when I want him to. Um, sorry, Angus, I gotta finish here. But um, what I was saying before was that the book you need to get, absolute must if you're thinking about getting ferrets, is Ferret for Dummies. Um, this will tell you, I'm leaving off so many things here I'm sure because I'm just doing this quick video and I'm completely high on caffeine and it's 2 o'clock in the morning actually. Um, so get this book. Oh Angus, you were such a goof. Um, it just tells everything about ferrets, you know, is the ferret the right pet for you, where to find ferrets, it talks about shelters, you know, that's one thing I can't stress enough. Um, these ferrets I actually have now, two of them are from pet stores, um, Mitzi was adopted, but most of the ferrets I've had in the past have come from shelters, and adult ferrets that are a year or two old, they're just like adopting adult cats, you know, you guys have seen my cat videos, Penny was four when I got her, you know, I've had ferrets that were two or three years old, and, um, you know, they're great. They bond to you quickly. They're just as sweet and friendly, and they're usually better litter trained and everything else. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, get this book. And again, there's a link from the main page of my YouTube account that goes to, uh, I think it's a direct link to the book. If not, click on the Amazon store and it takes you to it. And then I actually get credit for it. I get commission, so, for helping you. Um, and then I can buy more crap for my ferrets, right? Anyway, so, uh, get this book. And don't, you know, don't Get a ferret and then get this book. Get this book. Learn about them. Learn about all the cancers they get as they age. I mean, I had one year, I had two ferrets with cancer, and I spent $3,000, you know. Well, I'm somebody who's in, at the time I was like in my 30s. I'm now in my 40s. I'm single. I'm self-employed. I don't have tons of debt. I don't live high on the hog. So, you know, I can afford it. So don't get the pets if, you know, if you're a kid and your parents, you tell your parents you want a ferret, well, make sure you got a job so you can cover those bills. Don't expect your parents to. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Probably just pissed off a lot of kids with that statement, but it's true, you know. Um, Another thing you want to get in grooming supplies is nail clippers. And these are by far the best kind to use. They're these little itty bitty scissors and they're super cheap. I picked these up online somewhere for like, I think Pet Edge is a website I buy pet supplies from. Grooming supplies, it's really cheap. These are great because you can really see where you're cutting, unlike some of the other caliper clippers. And they're really easy to hold. And since they're so cheap, if they get dull and don't start clipping, don't clip the nail as well, then just buy a new pair, toss them. You know, but I've had this pair for I think four or five years and they work great and I've clipped a bazillion cat and ferret nails. So <laughs> um, <clears throat> as far as other grooming supplies, um, bathing ferrets, that's one thing that people and you'll learn in the book too. And probably the majority of you that may be reading, watching this video and thinking about ferrets, people say, oh, ferret smell and, you know, you should bathe them all the time. That is complete nonsense. The more you bathe the ferret, the worse, because every time you bathe the ferret, its body compensates for the lost oils and creates more oils and creates more smell. So if you take your ferret and you're bathing him every week, first of all, you're going to irritate the hell out of his skin. He's probably going to get all kinds of dandruff and flaky skin and health issues. I mean, look at my guys. Don't they look nice and shiny and clean? They get a bath twice a year. That's it. And do they stink? No, they don't stink. Um, I feed them a really good diet. I keep their cage really clean. I keep their bedding really clean. <laughs> Bitsy. <laughs> she just like took the death plunge. Um, and I use the wood stove pellets, which I swear the pine's like a natural air freshener, too. I mean, if anything, my ferrets smell like pine. And, uh, you know, and I'm not just saying that because I'm somebody that can't smell because my place stinks of cats and ferrets. I mean, people, I remember when I first uh, had my nieces and nephew come visit me when I moved up here to Seattle. And they were like, where are the ferrets? And they were running around my townhome because they couldn't find them. Well, if ferrets smells, they smells smelled they would have gone right to them right so they don't smell it's the people that own them that let them smell by using small bedding um, animal bedding in the cage by not scooping the litter by you know using the wrong kind of litter I mean all that so anyway that's my little speech against not bathing your ferrets too much and when you do bathe them there are special ferret shampoos you can use um, my guys what I've used uh, is that I just use the Dawn dish liquid which is one step of my um, 
cat bathing it just degreases the coat so I use that and then I'll use a little bit of their snow show show shampoo but there's ferret shampoos you can buy um, as well so but don't go spending and buying all kinds of grooming supplies or freshening sprays and all that because you don't really need them so just keep the cage clean it's like those goddamn pardon me I'm gonna rant here but I hate those Febreze commercials that say that you can leave dead fish and maggots and a dead body laying around and a decapitated head but as long as you got a Febreze air freshener in the room who cares the place smells great right no don't keep your place filthy clean it up clean up the ferret's cage and your place will smell like it should smell nice and fresh um okay that's it i'm gonna say hi to the camera hi it's really late and i'm really freaking tired um that's it for now um i know i missed some things and i'll probably add it in the notes but get the book like I said, buy the book and you will get all the information you need as far as ferret supplies go. Um, in fact, there's probably a checklist. Uh, here's a first aid checklist of things to have on hand. Um, all kinds of good info in here. So you don't need me telling you everything. Read the book. Um, anyway, read the book. And there is Bitsy looking absolutely adorable. And Angus on the prowl.